We are all set, right? Is that true? Are you chemically all right? Doesn't seem so, but it's okay. I have to teach a class, you have come to study a class, that the relationship established according to the business rules of state of California, right? Shakti is here? Would you read those poems I wrote? You have them? Good. Uh, I was having a lunch today. I didn't go where normally I go, so we sat down in a cozy place. We asked the restaurant to send us our food. We ate and relaxed. And I was so relaxed, I dictated a few poems, which Shakti typed and printed. And I want her to read it. I want you to go along with it and feel whatever you want to feel. If it blows your mind, don't worry about it. But uh, these, this is here, the four poems, and I want the psychological synopsis on it. <laughs> so it's just like to comment, with all due respect, that I'm so happy that <coughs> you were relaxed and enjoying, because I got these. <laughs> don't worry I haven't packed I'm yet. To, I am going to write 108 of them and print a book. Fantastic. It's not fantastic. This is human. It's the Aquarian age. Remember? These are all Pisces kids. You said things were going to move they faster. Words. They are different words. They don't belong to this world. Which is coming in. Time has changed. The humans are not. So, what do you want to do? Nothing? Come on. I the live to serve. Slowly, <laughs> the brain is not that fast to grasp it. I tell you what it is. Not only theirs. <laughs> okay. okay, this first one is called Death Restores the Cycle of Hope. Breeze was the same and was brisk, leaves kissing each other awake in the morning, branches creating a noise to prove their stretch. Birds were singing in their morning glory, and she said to me, I love you. I was standing before my mother's grave on that granite headstone it was so engraved, here lie the remains of my loving mother. And I remember she said to me too, I love you. In the time and the test in the life of death, the words are still the same. But I do not know what they mean now. What can death do? And what will they mean then? The next one is called The Game of Love. There was a wink and there was a smile, but I could see a little dryness on the shivering lips. Her cheeks were rosy and her eyes have color. With all the makeup, she could not do a thing to the fear which was hidden to every naked eye. From the distance, I could smell a perfume and see a gracious dress and the beautiful jewels. But I do not have the time in my life and many lives to smell her in her smell, which is real, personal, private, and a story of my dreams. She sipped out of a glass. Whatever it was was very soothing. She was moving and talking and prancing and passionate, trying to relax and create an aroma that she is all happy but one could see the insecurity stretching out of her in a cat stretch, though she was pretending and purring heavily. But I know in the depth of my soul she has lost the game of love. While walking, I picked up a paper. It was some old rap, and I read a few lines. It has a quotation of a wise man, and it said, when one loses the game of love, which is subtle, sincere, and joyful, all other games start playing automatically to pave the passage to the graveyard, that ever-ending bed of rest and rust, and the bones will tell the story. And that is the end of every stupid human. Next is called the smile of the soul. 
Each ray of light from her eyes so bright it tells it all. That in shabby, torn clothes, in that rusty skin, in an unbathed body and hungry wrinkles that totally weathered rock beaten by storms and the lashes of the waves, but still more than the depth of a jewel. Her very battered lips cracked and dry, and her stature, which was weak and frail, looked like she was a great hero who had fought many onslaughts of tragedy and treachery in the hands of the common folks who tried to rape her, escape her, bring her down to steal her soul's crown. She stood it all, and her strength was not taken. With all the signs of sorrow, she was walking tall. She turned her neck around and smiled at me. That was the best gift that I saw in a human body. I had my own feelings. It was just like that when I met God face to face. And there was a smile like that, free, unending, everlasting. It was a smile of the soul. The last poem is called My Love. She was short and chubby, grumbling and uncaring. She was fussy and ready to fight, unmannerful and daring. There was never money in her purse like a curse. There was nothing to be cozy and nothing to be rosy, but all that mattered was that she was my love. And every day and every hour of the day, she was kind of a size which was precise in all her endurance. With all that I saw, I say, there was an ocean-deep loyalty, and there was a divine royalty in that character of a human. She was my love. Say no more, people. Judge no more. Play no games. Count no scores. Life has many tales. Many are pleasant. Many are sore. In reality, it is everywhere. Who cares? In this wave of life, she was real, and she was my love. Whoa. Well, These are called character caricatures, which has to be written to admire and remember the age of Pisces, which is gone, for the future of the people of the age of Aquarius to remember how people were. So, I'm just, uh, it's no reference to anybody, but I will catch up few every day and like to complete them as fast as I can. To record the history, which is 2,000 years ago, gone by time and space. And uh, I like to uh, dignify these creatures who lived in the depth of their passion and commotions and never understood the story of their own soul, which is a process of denial through which humanity has gone. It would look very difficult to understand today, but when time will pass, the memory of these people who lived before should be recorded. It's not particular reference to any individual, but 25 years of mine here and almost that much in India and Orient and well-traveled as I am. and. Uh, I deal with the humans as they are. So that's what these four poems are about. I could have done more, but naturally we wanted to go and have fun, so we left. So sometime tomorrow again, maybe any time. Human strength uh, is unlimited. Human character is the byproduct of unlimited existence. But the tragedy is to exist on the earth 
you have to have a defined existence. It's not that there's no life anywhere else. There is a life all over the universe and beyond universe. And whatever you can imagine, you can imagine life is there, but it's all transparent. You call them angels, you call them ghosts, it doesn't matter, it's the same life. To some you pray, to some you fear, whatever that is. But that's a reality. There is an angel and a ghost in all of you. And in the science of yoga it is called Iddha and Pingala. In the science of chemistry and physics it is called negative and positive. God is like a character, you can have it, but you touch it like electric current, you'll feel it. If you properly put negative and positive together, you can have a light. But you know you have a light also when you have put a heater on, it glows. But when you put a bulb on, it brightens. Because the light, same current comes through the vacuum. The emptiness of the mind has to be established. So long your mind is dark and it does not let the light of the soul pass in your life, you will never have that joy, that success, which is your birthright as a human. It's not a practical joke, but this is the biggest joke God ever created to create humans. Technically speaking, uh, we are always defined and we always want to define ourselves. And that's why man created a family, family created a village, village created a tribe, tribe tribes created a uh, country, nation, and nation created a United Nations. And God knows what they're going to create. Now they're going to be interrelated with space and space and but there's UFO in everybody. Every person per minute has a UFO. You deal with a person at 11.30. At 11.31, the person has a UFO. He has already traveled from one space to another. Ten days later, if you remind somebody, hey, you talked to me, this and this, and this was like that, he says, ah, oh, yeah, did I? Uh-huh. I little say, I don't remember, <coughs> I don't recall. Or you will find a telephone call after a while. Oh, by the way, I talked to you so and so, but I never met it. Infinite change in a finite commitment of a human character is the cause of existence. As a human, you have to survive. You need economy, you need money, you need home, you need protection, you need defense definition, you need hedges, you need borders, you need country, you need custom, you know, immigration, I don't know. Whatever you need, you need. These are your needs, protection. <coughs> but inside you, there is a soul <coughs> which obey no boundary, which no, obey no limit, which is purity and as bright as God is. You can recognize that you can deny it, it's the same thing. We do belong to different religions to express our realities. We belong to different mode of life and specific. But basically, life is divided or decided by two things. Are you above it? Are you stuck by the undertow of it? That's it. How much rest you can clarify and classify your life in many ways. Two people fall in love. They unite before God, never to be separated. Are they love and live each other with sincerity and loyalty? And after a few years, they are not together because they couldn't get it together. Where are you going? Why you are asking? Argument starts. Who are you? Who are you? 
identity crisis insecurity identity crisis an expansion which is a human mind diversify relationships majority of you who started with me 25 years ago are going to go through the middle age crisis now and middle age crisis is nothing so serious it's simple that what you could do then you couldn't do it now you reach a mature age where you're not 18 anymore <clears throat> your excessiveness is not practical is a joke and as the age grows with with if proportionate wisdom does not grow life will be miserable it shall end up in a failure nobody can help you no government can help you no counseling can help you no religion can help you if the religion society people environments understanding does not proportionately let you grow in your own severity of wisdom you will never make it now you can see there are people who have wealth they don't know what to do with it and there are people who have poverty they do not know what to do with it in between still both if categorically are assessed they are the same people purpose of life is happiness and mode of life is unhappy and this criss cross people found kundalini yoga some of you who are in the west do not understand this science it was one authentic science organized developed and done for the householder to live happily to give householder the power the vitality the intuition and it was time saving factor it was not uh, you can do hatha yoga in 20 years and just have one posture you have gyan yoga and read whole life you have bhakti yoga for many lifetimes and i, I had a personal experience somebody was brought me about 500 tapes you know those tapes 60 minute tape 500 tapes and i said what is this this bag box big thing she said this is my previous life a psychic has read me and i said what i have to do with it she said i'll pay you as i paid her it was about 12000 dollars or something if you can read them listen to them and interpret them for me i said you give me 100 million dollars and if you keep this back few more minutes i'll ask my security officer to move you from the area get out of here why i said you lost the money this is your past you think i'm your teacher and don't you read my reading those who live in the past have no future and you brought me recorded past now out out you go i have nothing to do with you I have brought money in a I say you brought all the gold of California I don't care principle is a principle I don't release myself even to look at it what has gone one minute before it's gone thank god what a liberated soul I am that yesterday was yesterday I'm not going to mess up from yesterday today I don't even have a memory of yesterday All right anybody of you is so powerful tell me 2 weeks ago on wednesday what you ate in breakfast aren't we so stupid that we can't remember that and why to remember other things past is past and majority of us will fear tomorrow and tomorrow shall become today then we'll face it why to worry about tomorrow tomorrow is what thursday thursday will become like wednesday today and we'll face it thinking about thursday if you don't have intuition thinking about thursday will kill your energy you will be weak you will be impotent and you will be almost insane because it should shift you from your existence of space to a twilight zone you are here now 
and you are mentally in tomorrow. So whenever you create a twilight zone, you are a ghost. And we all create twilight zone. Human can never be happy if humor is in twilight zone. But if a human has intuition, then in twilight zone, you know both sides and you can be neutral, you enjoy. That's the angel. And you are a ghost and you are an angel in all that rhythm. I'm 63 year old. I have not met yet one human being who even understand what I say. But still I say. And I say everything the same way. The basic word which I say, keep up. That's all I say. Because that's human. To rise above everything, <coughs> face every challenge and win. Grow. Fly up. Go above it. Go above your attachment, your own emotion, your own fears. If you can't do it in yourself, you can't do for others. And million people need your help. You are totally, importantly useless and stupid as parents, as lovers, as humans, as anything. If you cannot rise above your own challenge and face it and succeed, how can on this planet you can do for others? And we are social animals. It's the only life where we need somebody and somebody needs us. Now what anything has to do with it? <coughs> that is why I am a Sikh, not that I like religion, I am a rebel. But I learned that Guru Nanak taught and said and make people to experience a sense of self which could uplift itself under all circumstances with the level. Human has created a missile. You fire it, it is low enough not to be detected by a radar, but it's high enough not to hit other than a target. Do you know what they call it? Hmm? Cruise missile, yeah. It cruises enough low that enemy's radar cannot catch it. It cruises above any surface. It balances with the surface. You understand its potential. If it's a mountain, it will go to the top, it, it will cruise above it. Go down, it will be down. But it will hit the target. A human brain can create a cruise missile. It cannot create a mental missile to cruise in the planet with harmony for all existence. Now tell me, folks, what that means. That means accident, accident, and accident. Some can save themselves from these accidents because they have insurance, and some can't. And that's the story of life. And tragedy is, you have not been taught by anybody that there is always black and white of right and wrong. Day and night, wrong and right does exist. But if you have the intelligence, it is the test of your intelligence, you can cruise through it. The power of the system and the science which allows the human to do that was, is and shall always be called Kundalini Yoga. If you have fair understanding that the age of Aquarius, without this science, 
no human shall have a iota of happiness. It doesn't matter who belongs to who and who says what and why it is so. But teachings have been laid down, practices has been totally given and they are very well available for practice. But there is no practitioner. Then people spend time and money with their commotions and their feelings are satisfied. People are slave to their mind and their commotions. Mind is not their friend or working. And it's the mind which beams you to success. I have seen people working eight hours in a very specialized job coming home and they go nuts. What's the use of that success? I was hearing something today and somebody perchance went home little earlier, like eight o'clock, and the children celebrated today. Can you dig it? And there are fourteen and twelve or fourteen or sixteen old kids. They celebrated that the parents came at 8, 8 p.m., mind you. Because of their success and work, they leave early in the morning, before 8, they go home back after 8. They have children, they have home, they have wealth. They are beautiful, wonderful. But today was a great expression of the day. Once they went early, so, we don't understand how human psyche works. That's why we only know, that's why how we talk, we plan, we manipulate, we hook, we become crook, whatever we do to control everything as we, individual. We do not understand there's something beyond us as individual which control, that is our psychosomatic projection. Human psyche is more powerful than human. It's power. And tonight we like to little bit work with that and give it a touch, if you are willing. Otherwise, class can be closed. What do you think? Well, I have talked so wonderfully. I mean, for ten or fifteen dollars, I think that much is a lot of talk, right? It's not. Well, this is now extra. Let us see whether you participate or not. Come on. Right? <laughs> On the Mount of Mercury, put your ego and get hurt and put your chest out and put yourself in and you will start hurting in your rib cage. And just remember, God took the seventh rib of the man and created a woman. And woman created intercourse with a man and created another human. So we do not know which one is true. The matter is still in conflict. We can discuss it here because it's a religious thing. But reality, oh yeah, God, religion sells such a bold, you can't believe it. And everybody buys it. Man, God created the seventh rib of the female and created a, ma a, ma a seventh male and created a female. Right? And that man was born on a pumpkin tree. There's no pumpkin tree. Knowledge is the pumpkin grows on that vine. But there must have been a pumpkin tree through which that man must have born. With that kind of bull you read and you believe. I have gone through it when I did my comparative study of the religion. I went berserk. It is very religious to believe it. That's Come on! Hey, be there. Stretch out. Put your chest down. Uh -huh. Let the psyche hurt you. Let the flow establish. Just put your ego 
on the Mount of Mercury, period, and stretch out. And your back blades may meet that much. You've got to go back full, tight. And you will hurt like in hell if you do it right. And then the flow will establish. And then you look at the tip of your nose and you go breath of fire. And you will curse me for the rest of the night, but it will put you on a, a space where, if you do it right, if you don't, you cheat, it's your loss, not mine. Quick, quick breath, solid, not heavy, with the, with the, with the belly button. Move it with the belly button. Move, 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 move for the strength. Ha ha. Belly button, if you move belly button, they say about 500 diseases do not come near that person. I don't know how many diseases are there, but it is about 500 diseases do not come near that person because it totally control the vayus. Vayu means pranic air which circulate through your body. That's all it is. Move, move, move. And don't move your spine or your body or your face or any part of it. Be solid and stretch backwards so that you can hurt yourself. Oh yeah. You will be painful hurting yourself as you stretch back. That means you are in a good posture. Wait a minute, you understand what I mean? Look at the tip of your nose, that will take the optical nerve in a lock and breathe in and out fast, like, uh, like what? Or oh, like a rabbit intercourse, they call it. Have you seen rabbits doing it? Exactly, they do it exactly as what you are supposed to do right now. So become rabbits for a few minutes. They get babies every full moon, you know that? They're the fastest growing thing in the world. Because they have to feed the entire world. Come on, come on, there are time yet. You can't get off the hook. Faster. In and out quick, yeah, just light and polite and bright and right, all that in one word, come on, move, move, move. If it start hurting, give it a chance, let it hurt so liver can relax itself. If it's further hurt, then adrenal will come in action. If it is further hurt, then it will reach your stomach. That you may not do, <coughs> that you can, it can stop you. <coughs> come on, baby, do it right. Fast, 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 quick. And if you keep on doing this exercise in your life, you will never go physically impotent as a male and a female. And uh, females who go through this uh, middle age crisis, Christ may save them, the ladies, and you get estrogen and that kind of stuff, then you have side effects and after effects. So why not go to that mess, why not do this exercise? Come on, come on, go. and young girls will remain young and the old will not go old and things are well sold. Come on, it's like a snake oil, come on, quick. What do you know Western what to live? Hurry up, hurry up, move, 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 move. I can only stop you by the clock, I can't stop you. Come on, quick, quick, move, move, try to experience it. Not that bad. You have 30 seconds more to go. Try your best. Come on. Big deal. Three minutes. Heavenly hope. Okay. Inhale now. 
Hold it tight and squeeze yourself from nail to nail of the toe. Squeeze, squeeze and distribute the energy. And with the cannon fire, let it go. Inhale again. Hold it tight and contract. Come on. Squeeze, squeeze and cannon fire. Again, please inhale. Oh, wow, 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 hold it tight, rib cage. Now we are going to create a woman out of the seventh rib. Come on, both. Hurry up. Chi 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 Close, 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 close. And very slowly whistle it out. Whistle it out the whole breath. And when it finishes, stop. Relax. Okay, just give you a few more minutes to give you a second killing. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, that's the way it is. If you think there is something outside, that is called maintenance. You will get daily ration from outside so that the cell which changes rebuilds itself. But what you can get for inside is tremendous. So I am going to, I, have, I think I have two days here, today and tomorrow. And this Saturday where I am teaching in this, this is somewhere else. Studio City? North Hollywood? Wow, okay. That'll be fun. Uh, you relax? Okay, ready for another three minutes? Accurate? Come on, folks. We gotta do it. Alright? Become a little Tibetan, please. Right? Right? See? Now watch me. And this is a very technical exercise. Same posture, down. It is, and total power should be at the thumb, at your aid. The strength of the thumb should move your hand, not hand should move the thumb. If you do that way, you'll have a terrible problem. You are reversing yourself. So make the thumb totally strong and make the thumb move the hand and God be with you. Look at the tip of your nose so that the optical nerve is totally, absolutely locked and breathe as slowly and fully as you can afford. Tight, tight thumb, solid, stainless steel. No loose fingers. See, that's why I told you, I, I did it for you. One jerk movement. It will take away the jerkness from you. The personality split with which about 90% people suffer and create psychological problem and guards in your life, you do not know what to do and what to do. We are just dealing with that split. Heavy jerk, total solid hand, absolutely firm, like a crutty chop, which can cut a brick through. Only the wrist, folks, and the elbow solid, no other movement. Right on this spot, it will start hurting in a minute or so. If it's already doing it, that simply means your food is not right. If the food nutritions are not good for body, this exercise will hurt you like a hell. Because the five tattvas are in motion under the aid, and that's where it is, and that's how it stands. Move on, move on, move on, faster now. Last minute, it should be very fast. Do your best. In spite of the fact you don't like to do it, do it harder, faster, quicker. Multiple movements sometimes reduces the pain.
Ready? Inhale deep. Hold the breath and move fast than you can think. Fast. Move, 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 move. And squeeze yourself and move. Squeeze and move, move and squeeze. Let it go. Inhale deep again. Hold tight. Move, squeeze, 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 let it go. Once more again, deep. Solid state. Move, squeeze, 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 let it go. Please relax. We are going there. We are making progress. Don't worry. There's all I want, you come to the class. I don't want what you bring, the baggage. That in few seconds I can keep it out of the door. And that's the beauty of the Kundalini Yoga. Not that I like this because it's a better thing. It's a good thing. No, it's a question is the elements, the minerals. You might be missing some minerals. Vegetarian do not normally hurt if all the minerals are in their body. So when the minerals are short, just now I had a cramp coming before the class and magfas or something, Dr. Saram prescribed, I took it and I was fine. Sometime we consume too much minerals and too much body we consume. It's not that. You want to do it. It happened. There's a stress. There's a strain. There's a daily life. There's sensory system. There's a sensual system. There's a emotions, feeling, commotion. God, you know. Everybody spends about three hours a day thinking, are they really beautiful? And you want to do sadhana and that takes only two and a half hours. You can save half an hour, the world can bow at your feet. Every person on average thinks three or take three hours to just reconcile with themselves every day, whether they are beautiful or not, as they made themselves. Can you believe the craziest people? God created you, He never consulted you, why you want to look at the mirror even? You can look beautiful within yourself. Mirror can blind you. You know, that's why I wrote that poem. In the greatest chubbiness, soul can shine, and greatest beauty, you can see the stress. Ready now? Now this is an exercise for the heart center. Are you with me? You understand what I'm saying? And it done right, it will take you through the tragedy of a child when you were in the womb of the mother. Without any hypnosis. I mean, you will go through automatic hypnosis. There's nothing I cannot do. Set yourself in <coughs> and it'll take you on a journey. Now, this is a trap, okay? You are all with me? See my hands? This is a really trap. It's no, no BS. It's real. I mean, don't misunderstand, it's no bull, it's really exercise. There's no joke either, right? I see my hands and watch. Automatic movement from outside in, like this. Come on. You've got to do it tight. Tip of the nose, that has to go, I couldn't say it. Hurry up. Tighter, tighter, tighter. It's a, it's a sexual intercourse. Really, if you do it really hard, you may ejaculate. Possibility is there. Yeah, yeah, it happens. It's not bad. Well, that, that is, it is, that is a footnote is. It's a really psychic intercourse. Come on, come on, come on, come on, quick. Pull it in fast and heavy like a hammer throw. And breathe, 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 breathe. And don't let yourself fail. Come on. Four 
फुल स्पीड फुल स्ट्रेंथ पैशनेट यू नीड पैशन यू गॉट टू क्रिएट ए रेपेस्ट पैशन वेर नो लॉजिक नो रीजन नो फियर ऑफ गॉड इंटरफियर्स इज कॉल रेपेस्ट पैशन इज ए लुनिटिक क्रेजी सिचुएशन यू गॉट टू क्रिएट इट नाउ वॉलेंटेरली सो दैट इट मे नेवर हर्ट यू अगेन खम ऑन फोक्स हे दिस विल सेव यू फ्रॉम लॉर्ड ऑफ ट्रबल इन लाइफ Faster now! What is happening to your breath? Breathe, breathe, breathe! Heavy, heavy, heavy! Move, move, move! Come, come, folks! Come, come on! Come on! Hey, come on! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! I have to reach to that point that I can see the arc line right, and I'll do it fast. Come on! Quick, quick! Move, move! You slow, okay? That's not fair. Move, 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 move. Move, move, move. Hey, what kind of tapes you are going to make, huh? Move. It's no easy game to let yourself get lost. Inhale deep. Hold. Move fast. Hold the breath. Move, move. Let the vibration go through every cell of your body. Move. Breathe out. Breathe in. Tighter. Hold full. Move. Put your whole into it. Go mad, lunatic. Move for God's sake. Serve your body. Save yourself. Don't get through this middle age crisis. Let it go. Inhale again. Deeper. Hold tight. Go fast. And do it. We can't do it four times. This is the last time. Don't spare a yota. Who move, 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 God, go. Ooh, let it go. Okay, relax. That's all right. Spend nine good minutes. Good, okay. Hmm. Okay, it's all fine. Put the tape and please dance with your hand. It's called the Jewish dance with the hands. Hey, that take. Where is she? Okay. Above your head. Come here, do it. Above your head, please. Don't bring it down. It'll ruin the whole thing we have created. Just clap. No dance. Clap. Hey, 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 hey. 
time spent and money goes to yoga center to keep it open and thanks to those who are giving and donating their blood money to keep it open this will be all in the memory of the new age and new people and these nine minutes exercises will be new age exercises Though it's the oldest science, Kundalini Yoga is a part of it. And the human psyche is supreme. And the combination is human psyche creates God, God creates human psyche. It's interlocked. God has not found out why He created it, and human psyche doesn't understand why it created God. This is for the Sutrogians to go idiot on it. I'm not going to waste my time. You understand? Ghost doesn't know why angel lives. Angel do not know why ghost lives. Figure it out. And when you figure it out, that you'll take a male and pull out the seventh rib and create a female out of it, all these answers will come to you automatically. Till such time, please keep on pondering how it happened. Right? You're okay? Right? Now, there's a song to be sung. Which one you'll prefer? You all have to sing it together. Some national song, something. Saints are marching in, that's okay. Everybody, we are Judo Christian background, we happen to be. Somebody. What? Is, is too Christian? It's not Jewish? What? Anything common, you can sing freely. Old song, not new age song. This is pretty old. Okay, okay, it worked. It worked, it worked. If you sing a very old song after these exercises, automatically your face will smile whether you like it or not. Oh, I was just testing it out that it... Was it sufficient or not? It's all right. It's perfect. Uh, I'll be leaving for Europe soon. And summer set in. And in spite of all the situation I never wanted, there's a lot of travels I have to go through. And if I live through physical strength till October and do not get in any trouble, then things will be fine, because you must understand at this time all of us are in trouble, all. This first time Pluto and Mars have combined in horizon for all angles, and 30 degrees is a dead angle. The old dead angle is not something I can help or you can help, but it's all right, it's a couple of months. What is now April? It's already going, right? May, June, July, August, what? September, October. Almost six months? Five, seven. Ah, drive carefully. Talk carefully. Use sharp knives and instrument carefully. Anything which can cut the mind, the soul, and the body, be careful. Be careful what you say. Be very careful. Be careful when you cut apples or vegetables. Be careful when you drive and, you know. And especially be careful when you talk on a telephone. 
Anything which is concerned with electricity, be extremely careful. Car is driven by electric current. It has a battery. You understand that? Uh, fan is by battery. Air conditions are by battery. Anything which runs with electric current for these months, please be careful. May the long time sun, all love, and the pure light guide your way. And Satnam, and thank you very much. It was wonderful. We'll see you tomorrow, and God bless you, and let there be peace on the earth. And uh, there's a lot of scare in L.A. because there's going to be a judgment. Nothing is going to happen, and everything is going to happen. But see how the psyche in tuned. Can you believe this beating one man, and when the entire humanity sighed, nobody can take it? You know, they say, he was on ESP, or he was on PSP, or he was DSP. I don't care what he was, but they did mercilessly bet him. And that's what the tape shows. I have no comments on it. And every psyche, I mean, there were riots and death and burning, and that's not all right things, but every psyche woke up to it. And everybody said no. Now they say there will be a hung jury, somebody said they will be evicted and honored and get out, and somebody said they will go to jail for the rest of their life. These are opinions. But the fact is, though the justice and the jury let them go, still the psyche of the people did not let them go. You understand? And the federal government has to come with some excuse to try them again. And even now they let them go, something shall has to happen. Because you must understand what I'm trying to tell you. Human psyche is powerful than God, and God is powerful than human psyche, because that's all one. We'll discuss that tomorrow. God bless you. Thank you. Good night. How are you, Nadi? You feel good today? You look good. But you did. You are recovered from the, the sickness, you know. Yeah. yeah. I must have done something. You must have eaten Pamujan <laughs> some salad or some kind of what? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. You call it a cramp? Forget it. How are you? I am getting your picture done. Thank you. Will I see you Saturday morning? Oh, yeah, yeah.